Hey, how goes it? Ken Bozek from thebitcoinpodcast.com here to talk about Bitcoin and Bitcoin accessories. And today, I'm here to talk about BitPay. Your Bitcoin, your wallet, your terms. Manage your Bitcoin finances in one app with the secure open source wallet by BitPay. You should really stop storing your Bitcoin on a website. Using the BitPay app, not even BitPay can access your money. Get real security by using a real wallet. Create a normal wallet for immediate payments or lock down your security by requiring payments be accepted by up to 12 different devices. And websites get hacked and insurance only covers online funds often less than 10% of your money. When you're using the BitPay wallet, you can trust that your payments are secure every time. Just look for the little green lock. That means when you're sending Bitcoin to an unknown address, they're using full payment protocol that verifies and secures payments to make sure they're sent to enabled services. And on top of all that, you can do more with your BitPay wallet than you can do with almost any other Bitcoin wallet out there. You got some powerful options for buying and selling and even spending your Bitcoin. You can buy and sell Bitcoin directly to and from your wallet as well as load and manage your BitPay Visa card. That is epic. Let's go ahead and set our wallet up and we can go ahead and check it out. So we went ahead and created a wallet. Now if you want, you can put your email in here and get notifications by email. I chose to opt out of that. No thanks, my email is already blowing up. Don't forget to back up your wallet, everybody. Uh, Take this chance to back it up if you haven't. Do not go any farther. I would never skip this process. Um, Take the time and do not take any screenshots and consider that a backup of your passphrase. That would be very silly. It's like leaving money out front of your house. All right, so now that we have it all backed up, let's go ahead and dig into the UI of this uh, epic app. Here we are agreeing that we understand that our funds are being held on our device and not being held by the company and that you that you also understand that if you lost this application or device the only way you're recovering your funds is with your recovery passphrase and also that you have uh, read the terms and use agreement and we all know that we have not (laughs) but let's go ahead and check out the actual user interface of this wallet. Here you go this is the main screen. And as you can see at the bottom, you have the home, receive, scan, send, and settings. Uh, Why don't we go ahead and take this opportunity to go and set up our BitPay Visa, and we can come back and revisit this. So this is how the BitPay Visa works. Uh, First, you have to order it. Uh, Once you've ordered it, uh, you activate it with the uh, bitpay.com slash card slash activate. Link is in the description box below. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and load it with dollars using your Bitcoin wallet. Or you could direct deposit with your employer if you know they offer that. And then you can just take the Visa and spend dollars anywhere Visa cards are accepted. Or you can withdraw the cash from any Visa compatible ATM. So if you haven't already, go ahead and order your BitPay card. And if you already have your BitPay card, go into the description box below and click on the link and activate your card. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and connect my BitPay card. And as you can see, it's as easy as putting in your email and password that you used when you went ahead and logged in and purchased your card. It's the same email and password. Once you're logged in, you can go ahead and click the Open In Wallet. Make sure that you hit Open and that you agree to Add Account. That way your actual Visa debit card account is added to this wallet. And as you can see, there you go. We linked our debit card to our wallet. Here, I'll show you a standard send and receive. So just click on receive, copy and paste, copy your uh, address. Go ahead and open another Bitcoin wallet application. I prefer Jax. And then you would just go ahead and hit send on the second wallet paste the address from the first wallet and then put the amount in that you want to send from wallet 2 to wallet 1 which you know jacks to uh, BitPay. Wow these fees are ridiculous it just cost me more Bitcoin to send Bitcoin than the Bitcoin I actually sent. That is really frustrating but anyway let's go back over here 
And now that we have some funds on the account and we have our Visa debit card linked, why don't we go ahead and link our exchange? Uh, you can use Coinbase, it's in 33 countries, or you could use Gladera, that's only in the US. I have a Coinbase account, so I'm gonna go ahead and link that. Now, if you don't have a Coinbase, you can sign up for it. There's a link in the description box for that as well. And once you log in, you can see all the security permissions that BitPay is going to now have on your Coinbase account. None of these permissions seem suspicious, especially when you're linking an external wallet to a third-party exchange. But anyway, you can see that you, know, you can buy Bitcoin, sell Bitcoin, and it gives you the exchange rate for buying and selling. Um, so let's go ahead and do a purchase. I want to get five bucks USD worth of Bitcoin, and at this time, that's about 0 0.0022. Um, go ahead and make a purchase on that. Now, before you confirm anything, make sure that you've selected the right payment method you want to use. Your bank account is going to be cheaper, but take longer, and the Visa will be uh, more expensive, but will be quicker. And then you could pick which wallet on BitPay you want to send it to. And as you can see, the uh, total pay down there at the bottom and confirm. And then I'll, I got this weird transaction error. And I'm not sure if this was because it was my first time using this wallet or if it's because whenever I make a video, I'm just cursed. But I went into Coinbase and my Coinbase purchase actually ended up sticking at my default Bitcoin wallet and it never made its way to my BitPay wallet. That sucks. Since that was a fail, let's go ahead and check out the settings and see if there's anything we can do in there. From settings, you can mess with the units of exchange, the currency exchange. You can even go on down to advanced settings and you can turn off that hide next steps card, which is basically the Amazon's thing. Who cares about that? Go ahead and do your security. Make that fingerprint unlock the app. And there's, there's a lot you can do in here. You can even rename your wallet from uh, you know the default personal wallet. I'll try to clear mine up, make sure, you know, hey, mine's the BitPay wallet. Wally, and uh, change the color to orange, which is my favesies. And I request fingerprint for everything. They actually offer a lot in their settings for a very simple app. With the transaction fees right now being ridiculously high, I went ahead and sent some more Bitcoin to my BitPay wallet. And I wanted to see what the process is selling Bitcoin and adding the US dollar to my Visa debit card. So I'm going to put $5 worth of Bitcoin on my Visa debit card. And I was just curious, like, how much is this going to cost me in fees? And um, how much Bitcoin in the end am I going to be left with? Well, that's a lot less Bitcoin than I started with. Let's go ahead and see how much the fee was. Are you kidding me? A dollar eighty-four. It cost me a dollar eighty-four to add five dollars to this Visa and some change. I wonder if I even have enough Bitcoin left to sell a dollar with the uh, the rate of these fees. Like I don't even think having like three dollars and fifty cents. Two fifty. I think I think I need more than two fifty to to do a transaction. So I don't even think I have enough Bitcoin to sell Bitcoin. But this is the process. You can pick where you want it to, you know, the Bitcoin to come from, and you can pick where you want the U.S. dollar to go to your bank account or U.S. dollar wallet on Coinbase, and then you can confirm the sale. They also have that price sensitivity thing, so you can go from one percent to ten percent. It does take a while for that you know, exchange to uh, occur. So you can go to 10% or you can be more conservative, go down to 0.5 and the sale won't occur if the price has changed over 0.5 or uh, something to that effect. So there's a lot that they let you actually control, but right now the fees are so high, I don't even know if it's worth it to use this. Well, I guess I could say it's like a seven out of 10 stars, I guess. I mean, I like the application. I like that you can buy and sell Bitcoin from there with, you know, two different exchanges. I like that you can link a Visa debit card, but they got some problems. I mean, I went to buy Bitcoin from Coinbase and send it to my BitPay wallet and it just got stuck at Coinbase. And now I have to go and send the Bitcoin from Coinbase to BitPay. So there goes a transaction fee on top of the purchase fee. I don't know, maybe it's me, but I don't see this Bitcoin debit card or Bitcoin even being worth using at this point in time. 
And in case you don't have a smartphone and you still want to use BitPay Wallet and the BitPay Visa debit card, you can do so from BitPay.com browser. Well, that's BitPay, their Visa debit card and their software wallet. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. If you dislike this video for any reason, go ahead and hit the thumbs down button. Just go ahead and drop a comment and let me know how I gotta turn that thumbs down around in my next video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and flick the alert bell right next to subscribe so you get a notification every time I upload a video and you don't get left in the dark. All right guys, thank you and have a day. Not an expert.